Hello and welcome to TechBytes.io. In this episode, we're going to review the basic components of Python. We'll review variables, data types, and operators. So let's go ahead and start our review. So diving into Python basics, let's start with a variable. So what is a variable? The easiest way to think of a variable is a container or a box. A variable is a place that you store things. In Python, you can store a single value in a variable. A good variable name represents what is inside of it. So, storing values in variables. Values are assigned to variables with an assignment statement. For instance, strikes equals 3, eggs equals 12. The equal sign is called the assignment operator. This is what allows us to assign the number or the integer 3 to the word strikes. What makes up a variable? A variable has a name. The name can be only one word, no spaces. The name can only be made up from letters, numbers, and the underscore character. You cannot use any other special characters in the creation of a Python variable name. And the name cannot begin with a number. So as you can see below, here we have tickets, which the green check marks represent that it's good, and four tickets. See, it starts with a number. And as we can see in the last uh, line of this definition, it cannot begin with a number. So that is bad. And then we have four underscore tickets, etc., etc. Those are all representations of good and bad variable names. Moving on to data types. So, for data types, we have integers. Integers, and off to the right, you can see the examples here. Anything like negative 2, negative 1, negative 10, negative 50, 50, 100, any of those would be equal to an integer. Then you have your floating point numbers. Those ones have decimal points in them, such as negative 1.1 or 1.1 or 0.00001. Those would be, those are representations of floating point numbers and then strings. That can be uh, a list of characters with inside quotation marks, such as the word string, A, or you could have multiple, such as four words there at the end. You could have multiple words in that uh, uh, entire sentence in that string. Operators. These are the common operators. These are common mathematical operators here that we are showing, and that it also um, is what Python uses and many other programming languages, such as your plot, your addition, your subtraction. Here we use an asterisk as multiplication. For exponents, we use double dual asterisks. Um, for division, we have the division symbol. For integer division, we have the, the dual slash marks, and then our modulus, such as 100 modulus 33. String concatenation. We can add our strings together. So, for instance, if you are operating inside of idle or inside your Python, uh, inside the command line, you could pull this up and you could type in the string JT and then plus tech bytes and you would notice that there's no space there it just simply adds those two words together one after the other now if you wanted to add a space you would have one such as the sub the second example here one word and two word you'll notice that right before the word two there is a space which allows us to have one word two word come down below also when you're concatenating strings you're not limited to just two strings you can do multiple strings down here you can see we have one, two, three, five strings showing below, and each one of them is, I, we have the space after the first after the word before the closing quotation mark. So you can see do, then there's a space quotation mark plus more space quotation mark, etc. All the way through, which allows us to have the complete sentence do more than two strings without having it all squished together. And then you can also have string replication. So just as you have multiplication, such as 5 times 5, but there you would get the integer result of 25. Here you could say JT times 5, and notice that it will just print out JT, 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 5 times right across the board. You can do the same thing with Bob. 
if you were to take a space and place a space before the end of Bob, before the closing quotation mark, you would have Bob space, Bob space, Bob. And then our, talk about our comparison operators. So just as we had noted earlier on when we were talking about the variables with the equal sign, the equal sign was the assignment operator that assigned something to that variable, right? So you assigned uh, book equals 265 pages. Um, here, you use dual equal signs for the actual equals operator. To say one equals one, you would have one equal equal one. And then for not equal to, you have bang, the uh, bang symbol or the exclamation point, which is bang, and the equal sign, which means not equal to. Then you have your general less than, greater than, and less than equal to, and greater than equal to uh, comparison operators. Well, thanks for joining me to review the basic components of Python covering variables, data types, and operators. Look forward to seeing you next time on TechBytes.io.